with 1.5 seconds left, scoring 19 points in a win over Denver. So, Texas A&M Corpus Christi, much better than anyone thought. The credit, the, the comment that's been said about this Gopher team so far is how hard they play, how together they are. Isaac Mushila gets his first field goal attempt to drop. Their leading score at about 15 points per game. Michigan was one of several teams so far this season, the seventh opponent that they've held under 70 points. Hey, watch out for Mushila. He's considered essentially a double double guy for Texas for this Christmas. That should be a fun battle between Mushila and Jamison Battle. So look at Eric Curry, he's directing traffic. What a great feed and cut to Stevens. That is a player who's been playing on that floor at the barn for quite some time. Youth development leadership. Nice. Split of the defense by Willis, the kick out. Stevens got it to go. Ben Johnson has said this, he said this to Dave Revson on Big Today, is that these transfers fit. It wasn't just random. Let's see if they all fit together, you know, just throw them together. It's an excellent group of transfers. As you mentioned, Willis in his second stint as a Golden Gopher. It's an 11-0 run for the Golden Gophers. Finally snapped that time by Bushila. Oh, for their last six from the field up until that bucket. Curry this is a high-scoring Islander team. I mean, they're going to go to 82 points. That's what they want to do, and that's what they're averaging. This is a Minnesota team that may not be known for their three-point shooting this season, but they're known for it so far in this game. The other way, able to answer Simeon Fryer, another solid score. Battle's thinking about a three now. He got it to go! And what he told me was he wants every possession to mean something. Be that old school Big Ten team. He said, look, people doubted me when I got this job, and they still may be. But so far, he's proven everybody wrong. As the bucket goes down there, retooling and working with what they have right now, which has been a pretty good group. Battle hits the deck to keep it alive. E.J. Stevens to Peyton Willis. Bucks a three. I mean, this is just so impressive, the fact that they've got six of seven on three so far against a Corpus Christi team that is pretty good and is going to be a problem in their conference. You had some fun in Brooklyn last week, an awesome job, by the that's way. It was like two days ago. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Sutherland able to put that off the window and in. He's going to do a little bit of everything for them. Sutherland tees out the three. Offensive rebound favors the Golden Gophers. Lowy will reload and connects. Willis, Stevens. It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well right now. There's a tray that goes down to answer back for Texas A&M CC. They want him to shoot the ball more. 13-point lead now for the Golden Gophers. Willis is feeling it from deep right now. There's another, his fourth of the opening half. Charlie Daniels, one of the first off the bench, typically for Minnesota, number 15 in gold. Tried to drop it down to Sutherland, ultimately found him, and he used the window to put it in. Pull-up J from Travion Thompson goes down. Travion Tennyson able to get that jumper to drop. It's a little polarizing, but I like it. And we really only see it at the Final Four and at the barn. Step back three here from Terion Murdix goes down. And he's down behind the play, but Jalen Jackson, one of the quicker guards in the country, stepped in the passing lane and finishes at the other end. Single-digit basketball game. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. He's got a that. great stable led by our trusty leader and Alex Birchie. Wonderful family to be a part of. Yes. All right. I may not get a key to the city. <laughs> Well, a cut to the rim. E.J. Stevens may have a key to the city. He's had an excellent first half. Long three from Thompson. One of the freshmen off the bench. Ben Johnson has liked his play in practice of late. Getting a few more minutes. Jalen Jackson using his speed the other way. This was important for Minnesota to reset. Get a little mini run before the end of the half. Stevens has some space and drills the three. Yeah. 
Dallas off to Curry. Little pirouette in the paint. Beautiful move. Did you question the shooting ability, Andy? I did not. I, I didn't know, know why I, I was questioned on Twitter about that. <laughs> yeah. well, you did. I did not. I didn't. Oh. I swear I didn't. Trying to answer the other way is Tennyson. His three off the mark. Peyton Willis, who had four triples in that first half. Outlets to battle. On to Lowy for three. Bucket. Lead is ballooned to 24. And they were to cut it down by three there as the triple does drop this time for Tennyson. Willis, little pull up Jay, got that to drop. Tennyson can capitalize with an offensive rebound by Foramade. Oh, there's Curry getting it going. Here comes Willis stepping back and firing away. Got another three. Willis is at 17 right now. It's one more, it's one shy of a thousand career points. Obviously not at Minnesota as we just showed you, but still pretty impressive. Texas A&M CC loves to push the pace, but Minnesota's gotten back on defense well. That three goes down for Simeon Fryer. Eric Curry with the height advantage over Mushila. To get that to go. Here comes the speed of Jalen Jackson. A little elevation into the paint and a beautiful finish. Great for him, Gabe Kausher. Ben Johnson. No one had the last place picked Gophers in this position outside of that locker room. Never easy to win in Stark Vegas. And then, of course, at Michigan. They were not expected to win that game. They got to get on the off on the defensive backboard. Three is good for Jordan Roberts. And this is an eight-point game. Nadim Babu, who works and I think owns maybe or co-owns GoForHole.com. They do a great job covering this team in all sports at the University of Minnesota. Picked up players with a purpose. He didn't have much of a roster. The largest Minnesota lead was 26. It's now back down to eight. I mean, it was a 20-point game. I thought I was kind of foolish saying what they had to do to get it close, but they're under 10. Oh, I asked you. And back in the way comes Sutherland. Steve Lutz called him maybe the fastest player in college basketball, or at least one of the fastest guards. Uh, Jaden Ivey's got that. Woo! Not the other way, speaking of speed. A little tuck on the side and then spin it up. Jordan Roberts hoisting and hitting. Jamison battles, put in some good work, had the height advantage down low and used it. It was 59-51. Just a possessions ago. Beautiful feed. Stevens to Lowy. Are befuddling and don't equal. I right? mean, the other night, you know, Matt Painter was telling me they go 34-17 and they're two bigs. You think that's a winning combination to beat Rutgers, and it wasn't. Uh, that would say something. Yeah. I'm sure he, he has the capability. His battle runs the floor and hammers it. Well, that might have just broken the ice of the Islanders. I love it. Back to the way, a quick answer from Isaac Mushila. Danny Ogile also in the game now. The other way, a bucket from Terion Murdix. Will Ramberg contesting the shot there, but to no avail as it drops for Jordan Roberts. You know, Jim Bayheim at Syracuse traditionally, historically, have really only played seven or eight players. Yep. If you've got the right seven or eight, that's all you need. I said you're gonna get 27 turnovers, and Corpus Christi's gonna have six. Oh, and you're gonna win. Turnover 28. 28. Jalen Jackson. Kicks it out to Travion Tennyson. One last gasp here for Texas a and Corpus Christi. Great fight from the Islanders. The Golden Gophers, however, will come out on top. Win number nine under Ben Johnson.